Hello fellow Helldivers, and the war against the Terminans and Automatons is getting put on the back burner because a new war against Sony, which does not appear to be backing down when it comes to linking accounts for PC players, is not going anywhere and it's getting worse as it is getting delisted from certain regions. There's also some new leaks about the game as well that we're going to cover in this video. We have a lot to basically go over, so without further ado, let's just jump in and talk about the mess currently going on in Helldivers 2. A storm of controversy has engulfed the game of Helldivers 2, leading to a mass exodus of players and consequently Helldivers to spread democracy throughout the galaxy. Amongst a sea of negative reviews and even delisting from the Steam store in over 100 countries, at the heart of this maelstrom lies a mandatory PlayStation Network sign-in requirement for online play, a decision that has actually blindsided PC gamers and sparked outrage despite the fact that there was a notification, but it just wasn't very well communicated. And the situation is a fascinating case study in communication breakdown and a developer's responsibility. Arrowhead Games, the studio behind Helldivers 2, has taken a surprising step of admitting partial responsibility. The CEO in a frank statement acknowledged that disabling account linking at launch to allow immediate play was a mistake. This lack of foresight coupled with inadequate communication about the future PSN requirement left PC players feeling misled and betrayed. In fact, what he directly said is, I do have a part to play. I am not blameless in all this. It was my decision to disable account linking at launch so that players could play the game. I did not ensure players were aware of the requirement and we didn't talk about it enough. We knew for about six months before launch that it'd be mandatory for online PS titles, yet they did not make it clear to any of the PC players when they were buying the game. And that has led to some some pretty big consequences in terms of the game sales. And they are staggering. With over 100,000 negative reviews, it paints a grim picture of player dissatisfaction. Steam, in a rare move, seems to actually be softening its usually strict refund policy, and this is something that all of you should be aware of in case you are on PC and no longer can play the game, where that even if you've exceeded the playtime, which is a two hour limit, you can actually still ask for a refund and get your money back. And this unprecedented move highlights the severity of the situation and the frustration of the player base, especially when you have Steam looking like the good guys, which I mean, sometimes they are, but I mean, their refund policy is a little, you know, archaic. Along with that, the community has been pretty, pretty vocal about this. There are fan communities that are buzzed with anger and disappointment. You have Reddit threads like Helldivers 2, Steam allows refund beyond two hours of gameplay, over 100,000 negative reviews today, filled with comments saying, yeah, they basically deserve this. And Helldivers 2 has been delisted for over 100 countries, which is crazy to see a game that is so popular among so many people be taken away in the blink of an eye. I mean, we are just trying to get Xbox players on like a month ago, and now a bunch of countries are just completely unable to access what they already paid for. There are comments expressing outrage at the forced account linking and a sense of being treated like second class citizens compared to PlayStation players. I myself, I play on PS5, I also have a PC, I also have an Xbox. I have no dog in this fight, but I can see what is right and what is wrong. Meanwhile, all this going on, there are leaks regarding upcoming content like the film camera objective which you can see on screen and has been playing a little bit already and there's also going to be this revamp bug larva objective which makes me think that we are getting you know the hive lord soon which has been overshadowed by the ongoing crisis i want to talk about cool stuff coming to the game not how sony's messing it up these potential additions which might have generated excitement under normal circumstances are now lost in a bunch of discontent and it also puts into question what's next for helldivers 2 and the future is really uncertain Arrowhead Games is a mountain to climb to regain player trust. Clear communication and a revised approach to account linking are crucial first steps. The leaked content hints at interesting additions, but their reception will depend entirely on how Arrowhead manages to navigate this period. Let me know down below, what are your thoughts on the account linking thing? Do you think it's not that big of an issue? Or do you think that Sony has really messed up what was really a great game and a co-op experience? Also, don't forget to check out these videos right here where I cover more Helldivers leaks, news, and Power Worlds and finals and more. And until next time, everyone, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you in the next video.